I decided to continue my JPEG experiment following the success of the JPEG output from the uh, EPL8 and I thought I'd try something with one of the Fuji cameras. Obviously Fuji's pretty much uh, kind of uh, well known I guess for its uh, film simulation recipes and I thought I've got a load of these programmed into the cameras already so I don't know why I don't use them but um, for some reason in my mind I just have to be in the right mood um, and it looked like it was going to be a really sunny day in Midhurst um, so I decided to take the XE1 and experiment with the classic chrome film simulation that I've got on the XE1. Um, I took two lenses. I took the TT Artisan 27mm lens and the Mikey 35mm lens. And uh, so one's, uh, one's um, autofocus, one's fully manual. Um, and I just thought they for for a kind of a general sort of streety outing they'd be um good focal lengths to have along. I think I actually I took the Fuji sixteen mil with me as well um and didn't use it. So the recipe, the classic chrome recipe for the XE one I got from Fuji X Weekly, um and I'll put a link in the description. They've got recipes for all generations of X Trans sensors. Um, so it's well worth a look if you're interested in that type of thing. Um, and the classic chrome that I decided to experiment with, I think it's got kind of a sunny feel to it. So I wanted to, you know, to use it on a sunny day and this just felt like the right, um, the right day. Although I have to say the sun was very low, it's January sun, so it was very low in the sky, it was very, um, you know, quite bright and contrasty. So I did wonder how we'd get on with that. Um, and I think the answer, we'll go through some of the images now, but I think the answer is it worked out better than I was expecting. Um, so, yeah, that was good. So, um, yeah, let's just go through a few of the images. And um, these are all I've done to them. They're straight out of camera JPEG. The only thing I've done is I've done a little bit of a crop on a couple of them just to get rid of some extraneous detail around the edges of the frame sort of thing. But apart from that, they're um, straight out of camera JPEGs. And this first image is, it's kind of, um, it, it was just to kind of try to uh, get a little bit of a natural first shot, I suppose, it's just from the car park. And I just wanted to see what, the sky and the grass and the trees just to see how they were going to come out in this film simulation. As we walked down the high street um, there's this uh, kind of there's a lot of interest in buildings in Midhurst and this clock as you can see by this point it was uh, just after quarter past 12 so just past midday uh, the sky was absolutely clear blue and this I think this gives a really good yeah, it gives a good kind of, it's it's probably bluer than I actually saw it at the time, but I think it works quite nicely. And as you can see, the what I'm surprised about is the, the whites here, the extreme whites, they're not really um, blown out. And I was quite surprised that you've got reasonable shadow detail under the eaves of the building there plus these um, the, the window frames and there's some detail in all of it white buildings that I would have expected to have been you know not not expected but I guess this was where there was a risk of of the whites blowing out the highlights blowing out completely and they don't seem to have done there is some brick detail in this building which I think is quite impressive and if we look at something that's got a little bit more, well, something that's got a mix of highlight and shadow right across the image, you can see there's detail in both. Greens, I think, um, I'm quite, I, I, I quite like the rendition of greens. It's not 
it's kind of not oversaturated and, and bright green. It's quite, it's, it's got a, a kind of a slightly muted edge to it, which I like. And this is another you know, very bright building front. And again, I'm surprised there's detail there, really. If anywhere was going to be at risk, um, it would be a shot like this. So on, on the whole, in conclusion, um, it's worked a lot better than I was expecting. And this has certainly given me the um, confidence to try some of the other um, film simulation recipes. Um, and the ones, I mean, I, I actually keep a list. I keep a list on the bottom of the camera because I, I can never remember what I've got on which custom setting and you can't actually name the custom settings, which is a little bit frustrating. If you could name them, it would be great. But I keep one as um, standard, two as A-cross, three classic chrome, four codochrome, five analog, six mono and seven movie is what I've got down here. Um, so that's all seven taken. But there's another one that I'm, I was thinking of trying, which is this one that I've seen people using online which looked interesting for um, again for summer sunshine type stuff um, and that's this one called 1979 um, so i'm going to take a look at that as well um, and i'll be back with an update when i've got some results i'm hoping it is going to be sunny again at some point so looking forward to that